Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. On this channel, I have talked many times about my favorite mount for, for GoPros, DJI, Insta360 action cameras, and that is, that is this guy. This is the GoPro bite mount right here. And the reason it's my favorite mount is because it gives you that POV shot you just can't get without our cameras. Point of view, that's what POV stands for. And the reason that it's so unique is that is that you can you can really only get it with action cameras and it's it's much more difficult to get it with, with larger cameras. You've seen like the big helmet rigs where they mount like a DSLR so that so they can get a, a POV shot, but with, with action cameras, you can get it pretty easily. But every time I mention the bite mount on this channel, the comments just get lit up with people asking me about the head mount and the chest mount, also both POV options. Today, I'm gonna break down all three of these mounts, show some comparison footage, and we'll go over the pros and the cons of each of these three POV mounts. Again, clearly, clearly this one's my favorite, but let's find out which one's your favorite. First up, let's jump into to the chest mount. This is the, the older version, but, but it does the job just the same. The main the main pro with the chest mount is that is that it's super comfortable to wear. If you are looking for a mount to wear just all day long, the chest mount is for sure the mount for you. Whether you are biking or motorcycling, maybe you're skiing, anything where anything where you're facing forward and and you want to record all day long or you want to be able to record clips kind of throughout the day and and really just have the camera locked in one spot for the whole day, uh, the chest mount it's the most comfortable mount there is, and you will forget that you even have it on. But also because there's a trick, there's a trick with wide angle cameras, and that is that the higher off the ground they get, the slower it looks like they're moving. And just the difference between the chest mount and, and the head mount, that like, was that two feet, one foot? Two foot, one, one, two, one, two feet. That difference, it actually makes it look like you are going significantly slower. Here's a side-by-side -side on an e-bike, mountain bike, and I'm going about 20 miles an hour, and here's a difference side-by-side -side between the chest mount and the head mount. And you can see that in the chest mount, it actually looks like I'm going faster than when I'm riding with the head mount. So if you are on a mountain bike or, or motorcycle, anything, anything again where you're facing forward and you wanna make it look like you're going fast, you, you want your friends to, to know how fast you bombed that that mountain bike run, uh, go for the chest mount over the head or, or helmet mount. Let me grab a, another camera, hang on. There we go. This really drives this comparison thing home. Okay, cons of, of the chest mount. One is if you're doing any sort of board sport, like surfing or skateboarding or wakes or anything where you're gonna be standing sideways, now, now the camera is gonna look sideways. You're, you're not actually getting the shot that you think you're getting, you're, you're getting the shot that's, that's that way. So for sure, chest mount is ideal for sports or hiking that you're gonna, be, you're gonna be facing forward. The other big con to the chest mount is that it doesn't look where you look. So yes, maybe you're, you're mountain biking and while you're looking this way, it is your point of view, that your point of view is forward. But let's say you're riding like a deer jumps out of the woods and you go, whoa, deer, but you're, you're riding this way, that deer will not be picked up on this camera. So with, with chest mount, if you look left or right, the, the camera doesn't. That's a that's a big con. And that is that is the chest mount, the pros, the cons. Now before we jump into the head mount, which is my second favorite of these three POV mounts, let me take one quick moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. If somehow you've been on YouTube this long and you don't know about Squarespace, Squarespace is your all-in-one website building platform where it's really simple to make a website and it's all it's all really in one spot. I've been using them for the last 10 years for my photography business, and I've I've just loved the experience, mainly because, again, everything is in one spot. I don't wanna spend my time building websites. So being able to go in there and start with one of the professional templates, use the new Fluid Engine design system to customize it unlimitedly. Like, you can pretty much start with one of their templates, just swap your info in, and like, your website's gonna look dope. But if then you wanna take the time to really customize your website, know exactly what it's gonna look like on mobile, know exactly what it's gonna look like on someone's computer, you, you have the ability to do that. The Fluid Engine editing in particular has been like just mind blowing. Again, I've been with them for 10 years. The Fluid Engine stuff, it's pretty new and 
and it is kind of amazing. Whether you are looking to create just a portfolio website for your photography or videography business, or you're looking to launch an online store, Squarespace has you covered. Shoot to the first thing in the description, go over to Squarespace, sign up for a totally free trial, totally build out your website during that free trial, and when you're ready to go live, use code David Manning for 10% off at checkout. Yeah, for years, I've recommended Squarespace to people. My website for my photography business, we owned a photo booth business at one point, that was Squarespace. My wife's band's website, that's Squarespace. My three neighbors that all run businesses, I've all gotten them onto Squarespace and everybody, everybody just loves how simple it is. Okay, back into my, like I said, second favorite mount. That's this guy, the head mount. Now, a big pro of the head mount is that it is also shockingly comfortable for how silly it looks. <laughs> like the, the weight of your camera up there, you definitely feel it. Like if you're gonna be doing anything like, like running, I've done mud runs while wearing one of these things and definitely running like you're gonna feel it. But if you're doing anything like mountain biking or motorcycle riding and you're gonna helmet mount, I think the weight of the helmet is already there that the added camera weight doesn't wear on you that much. Of, of the three POV mounts, this is the second most comfortable. But the major benefit here with the head mount is that now wherever I look, the camera looks and that that's actually POV. You're riding a mountain bike or a motorcycle or even, even just hiking along through the woods, wherever you look is what the camera is actually gonna pick up. Now, there's another big pro here and that there's actually two distinct shots that you can get with the head mount. The first one is, is that forward facing POV shot. Whatever you look at, it is gonna look at, but a lot of times, a lot of times the thing you're doing doesn't end up in that shot. But the other shot that you can do with this camera is you can tilt it straight down, straight down like that. And now whether you're mountain biking or you're skateboarding, whatever you're actually doing, it's gonna shoot down and it's gonna see the thing that you're doing. Like for example, here's a shot of me skateboarding and you would just say, hey, that's just kind of forward facing. You, you can't even see the skateboard. And here's a shot with that down angle and you realize my daughter was actually riding on the skateboard with me. In that first shot, my POV, you, you couldn't even tell that my daughter was with me on the skateboard. And in the second shot, you realize like, oh, well, that's what you guys were doing. You were riding with your daughter. Okay, cons on this guy, it, it can get tiresome after a while. If you are, like I said, hiking or running, like you're doing a lot of this action, like sometimes it can rub on your forehead. And while the weight of it isn't that big of a deal at first, after a while, uh, you're, you're kind of ready to take it off your head. Then another con, not really a con, this is kind of a tip and a con. The con is that yes, wherever you look, the camera looks, but you might not realize how much you look around until you have a head mount or a helmet mount. There's definitely times when I've been, I may be skateboarding like through a city or biking through a city, and you just don't realize like how much you check for traffic and you you check for pedestrians and you check for different things around you. And then you get back to your, your computer, you pull up the footage and you're like, this shot is just like, it's all over the place. And the last con about a head mount is that unless you have something like the DJI's magnetic mounting system, if it's just a GoPro up top, usually you've got to take off the camera to be able to change settings, to be able to do anything on the camera, even just make sure it's recording. Sometimes I'm like, did I, did I hit record? I feel like I hit record, but I can't remember if I hit record, I gotta take it off, I gotta check. Now the DJI's magnetic mounting system, that, that makes that significantly easier because I can just pop it off real quick, change a setting. All right, third of the POV angles, and like I said, my very favorite, and that is this guy, the GoPro bite mount. Now, like the head mount, wherever I look, the camera looks, and that, that gives me the real POV shot. But unlike the head mount, I can quickly take the camera out of my mouth, I can turn it around and I can film a handheld shot, or maybe while I'm on the skateboard, I can go down, I can film the wheel, I can film something, something at different angles, things that I couldn't do if it was mounted to my head or in my mouth. I can even go from a POV shot to quickly kind of setting the camera down, filming something, talking about something, showing the camera something, and then walking right back up, putting it back in my mouth, flipping back to that POV shot. It's just a very versatile mount. Another pro with this guy is that same as the head mount, you can get kind of that, that POV shot, or if you kind of slap it flat down like this and hold it here, you can get that, that second unique angle. But the cons for my favorite mount is that you really can't rock this thing for very long. Like this is the most comfortable mount, the head mount, the second most comfortable mount, and the bite mount, definitely the least comfortable of these three mounts. I don't think you can do this more than like five or 10 minutes at a time before your jaw starts hurting. There is a, there is this guy. This is more like a, a snorkel bite mount. This is definitely a more comfortable bite mount. If you know you're gonna be biting this camera for a long period of time, 
uh, I would say this is the preferable bite mount over this guy. This guy is quick and easy, and this is like, I gotta hold the camera for 10 minutes or more. When we went on that jet ski trip out at Lake Powell to go find the drone that I had crashed, I accidentally brought this mount when I definitely should have brought this mount, and we were jet skiing for like 30, 40 minutes, and I had it in my mouth like this, and we were like, ga, 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 ga. <laughs> my jaw was sore for like three days because of this mount. And that is it, that is the that is the chest mount, the head mount, and the bite mount. Kind of the three main GoPro, DJI, Insta360 action camera POV mounts. Whatever, whatever action camera you are rocking, these are the three mounts that can give you a point of view perspective. Which one do you guys like most? Which shot did you like most? I wanna hear how you guys use these three mounts and and if if you're awesome and the bite mount is also your favorite mount. Uh, let me know. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Oh, shit. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, a little slippy on that one.